everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Chris, and for my video today, I'm going to be doing a tag video. This was a tag that was created by the lovely Flo in the city, and she tagged me. It is all about handbags that hold a lot of sentimental value for us, and probably that you would never get rid of. So I really like the idea for this video, and I decided to just do a quick little video on the three bags that I have the most sentimental attachment to. So if you've watched any of my videos or are a regular visitor to my channel, you're probably not gonna be surprised by any of these because I have shown all three of them before in various videos. But I'm gonna start out right away with the oldest of the three, and it is my Speedy 25 in the Epi Noir. So this was my very first high-end designer handbag and also my first Louis Vuitton. I knew that I wanted a Louis Vuitton, but I wasn't really keen on the monogram and the canvas. I really, really fell in love with this Epi leather. I had seen it and I, I just, uh, it blew me away and I wanted it so badly. So at the time, uh, it was 2002, I had saved up some money. I got some money for Christmas. And so I remember buying it just after Christmas and I, I searched around. I actually found the receipt for this thing. I bought it on December 31st of 2002. I paid $680 for it. And at that time, Louis Vuitton did not sell their items on their website. They did have a website, but uh, there was the items were not available for purchase on the website. And the only website that actually sold Louis Vuitton was called eLuxury and they had all these beautiful handbag brands and you could shop around and you can get Louis Vuitton on eLuxury at that time. And so that's what I did. I shopped around. I was looking specifically for a handheld bag in the Epi Leather. They had a couple different options, but this was the one that I ultimately went with because I thought it was a real classic shape. I really liked the fact that it was a top handle bag and I also loved the gold hardware on it. And in retrospect, I think I made an excellent choice because it has held up really, really well. It still looks beautiful after all of these years. And in fact, I still use it. I was using it a couple weeks ago. I got a new organizer for it, which I did a, a video on. I'll try to link that one as well if you wanna check that out. But uh, I'm still using it 17 years, 16 plus years later. So that's a testament to what a classic this really is. And because it is my first Louis and my first high-end handbag, I will probably never get rid of this one. So I do love my Speedy. The next bag that I have is also not going to be a surprise for anybody who has watched my videos. This is my Todd Spoleto. Um, I have called this my favorite bag and I still think it probably is my favorite bag. Uh, there is just something about the look of this bag that really touched my heart. Uh, I'll tell you why in just a minute, but um, it was a very, very popular bag in its day. I think it's about seven years or so now. Uh, it was really an it bag and everybody wanted one. It's called the D-Styling Boletto. Comes in these beautiful leathers. There was um, beige, there was this gray, there was some blacks. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And a lot of celebrities were filmed with this bag, etc. And uh, I just thought it was beautiful. It took me a little while to save up for it and to get it, but I did find it. And the reason that I absolutely love this bag is as soon as I saw it, like the minute I saw it for the very first time in a magazine ad, um, it just reminded me of a bag that my mother had when I was a very little girl. I was about three years old and she used to let me play with her handbag. And I would pretend that I was a grown up lady and, you know, pretend that I had money and that I was shopping and things like that. And I'll, uh, as soon as I saw this bag and this, this picture in this magazine, it just brought back all these memories flooding back into my mind. And, um, I knew I had to have the bag and I probably will never get rid of this bag. There's just something about the way it looks. Now my mother's bag didn't look exactly like this. Uh, but for some reason, it just reminds me of it and brought back those memories. And so it's very special to me. It's one of my very favorite bags. Even today, I just love the look of it. I love the feel of it. And I love the memories that it brings back to me. So my Todd Spoleto, another bag that I probably will never get rid of. And the last bag is my Chanel. So this is my Chanel Jumbo flat bag in lambskin leather. And this is very sentimental for me because my husband bought it for me. All of my bags, I would have to say, I purchased myself or at least I picked them out. So, uh, you know, 
like if it was going to be a Christmas present for my husband or something, I said that would be the bag that I want and he would go buy it. But this one he came up with all on his own. We had a very big anniversary and uh, he surprised me with this bag in a way. There's a little bit of a story to it in that um, he searched out the bag, he located it and he was near to buying it but then at the last minute he decided in order you know to make sure that i really really wanted this bag that he was spending all kinds of money on it was thousands of dollars uh he did say to me you know what he was going to do he said i want to get you this for our anniversary and do you want it and of course i said are you kidding do i want it of course i want it who doesn't want a chanel flat bag um, I love the fact that it's a jumbo because it has more room than uh, the others. I do not wear a crossbody because I don't like crossbodies that much. Uh, they pull on my shoulder, uh, they bump on my thigh. I'm just not a crossbody lover. So for me, this is the perfect, perfect shoulder bag. It looks so ladylike. It goes with everything and it is just an absolutely beautiful bag. And because my husband picked it out for me, and for him to do something like that, like he doesn't really know handbags, you know, maybe just by hanging around me for so long, he got a little bit of knowledge about them. But I must have mentioned how beautiful Chanel handbags were at one time and he was listening and we had that huge anniversary coming up and he just said that he was gonna go get it. And then, you know, when he told me about it, I, I was just ecstatic. I, I remember I carried it everywhere for about a week and then I got panicky thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? The lambskin, you know? So I kind of take a little bit more care of it now. I don't use it as an everyday bag, but I do carry it for special occasions. And of course it's on my shelf all the time and I get to look at it every day. So that was a really special purchase a special gift uh, from my husband and I really did appreciate that one. So that is it for my three sentimental bags and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it is a tag video so I will try to tag a couple uh, regular viewers to my channel in the description box down below. I want to thank you for watching as always and if you have any comments please feel free to comment. I love reading comments. I really do enjoy them and connecting with other people on YouTube and um, I, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time, take care.